day three of life after Sandy. No power, troublesome transportation, if any transportation. And new evacuations are the reality for millions of your fellow viewers. You know, the storm's death toll has now grown to 56 people in the United States. The deaths are spread across New York, New Jersey, West Virginia, six other states, and Canada. Meanwhile, on the streets, I want you to look at this shoving match that broke out to get on a New York uh, subway, I'm sorry, New York City bus. Now, the governor declared a transportation emergency, so it means that trains and buses and subways are free today and tomorrow. People are getting around as best as they can, but for some, that means walking for hours to get to work. I walk from Queens Boulevard all the way here. And, tell, and put that in perspective for me, what kind of walk was that? A marathon. This, that's what it is. A marathon. A marathon. <laughs> Walking now, I got to walk back. A marathon. That's what, it, that's what you can call it today. What are we talking about in terms of hours? About two hours hey. of walk. It's, it, it, no buses, nothing. They need the train service very bad. You know, new video here to show you. I mean, I want you to look at this flooded subway station. I reporter John Graziano says that the water was six feet deep in some tunnels yesterday. People who are not cleaning up are waiting in line for gas. That is the line. It was a half mile long for um, line at the gas at this gas station in New Jersey. Now, police in another town sent out a text telling everybody there is no gas, so don't bother looking for it. That's incredible, is it not? And then look at this time-lapse video. If you haven't seen this yet, it's incredible. Of Sandy rolling in on Monday night. Keep watching because you slowly see the moment that lights go out in Manhattan and the Williamsburg Bridge. About 5 million people in, oh, I, I just still want to watch this here. Isn't that something? About 5 million people in 15 states and D.C. still have no power this morning. Can you imagine how frustrating and uncomfortable that is? frustrating the cold at night you understand no heat no hot water living in the dark is miserable not only living in the dark it's so cold inside the house is that's why you see me sitting in the car